Hello everyone. Welcome to my PPT. The topic of my PPT is yield increase by May soybean strip intercropping system. The strip intercropping system was developed and invented by Professor Ben Yang from Sichuan Agriculture University. My PPT have four main parts which we will discuss today. First, the problems and backgrounds. Second, the technical innovation of the system. Third, the yield of the system. Fourth, mechanisms for high yield. In background and problems, if you see this picture, you will understand something very interesting. In 1927, on this earth, we have 2 billion people. While now in 2020, the world population increased from 2 billion people to 7.5 billion people. But the total land of the earth didn't increase in this period. So, increasing food demand with increasing population is a growing challenge for all human beings on this earth. Another, if you see these two pictures, you will understand something very interesting again. The first picture is showing that there is a tall buildings near the farming land, while in the second building, you can see that there is tall buildings, some factories, some roads. What it means? It means that the factories, roads and the tall buildings replaces the farming land. Farming land is decreasing due to the urbanization and industrialization. As I explained in last two slides, the farming land is decreasing while the population is increasing on this earth. To increase crop production and ensure food security, we need to apply high inputs. However, high inputs in agricultural production arise several environmental problems such as the water eutrophication and fish death. Therefore, to obtain high crop yields and maintain agriculture sustainability are the main challenge for today's agriculture in the world. There are two main cropping practices in the world which different farmers and researchers are using in different countries such as the crop rotation and intercropping which plays important role in improving agroecological environment of this world. The first picture is crop rotation. Crop rotation is suitable for those countries where they have less population but more cultivated land area such as United States, Canada and Australia while intercropping system are suitable for those countries where they have more population and less cultivated land such as uh, for example China, Pakistan and India. There are more than 200 intercropping systems in the world which are playing an important role in food production. But from these 200 intercropping systems, four intercropping systems are the most important in terms of yield production. First is the maize soybean, the second is the maize peanut, then maize sweet potato and maize potato. If you see this picture, this picture is showing numbers on Chinese map. One, two, three, four. One and three showing the intercropping area while two and four showing the relay intercropping area in China. If you see this slide, this slide has several intercropping system pictures like maize peanut, maize potato, then maize cauliflower, then maize pea and, and so and so on if you see this picture. As in previous slides, I have mentioned that the best two intercropping systems in the world are maize potato intercropping system and maize bean intercropping system. In this picture, I compare both systems. Maize potato intercropping system decreases soil fertility. It requires high inputs such as the fertilizer application, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, and it is unsustainable. However, if we go for maize bean intercropping system, it increases soil fertility, it requires less inputs in terms of nitrogen, and it is sustainable. Recently, a meta-analysis published by Chun Ji in Nature Plants, she has concluded that maize and soybean are the best partners in intercropping system, 
Why maize and soybean are the best partners in intercrop system? Because maize is a C4 crop, soybean is a C3 crop. Maize have linear and broad leaves, while soybean have round and small leaves. Maize is a long stature crop, soybean is a short stature crop. Maize is nitrogen consumer, while soybean is nitrogen fixer. And another interesting thing is that maize provide starch rich food to human and animals, and soybean provide protein rich foods to human and animals. In addition, water, temperature and light requirements are almost same for both crops. Crop season, growing conditions and soil requirements are also almost same for both maize and soybean crops and these both crops can be sown and harvested at the same time that is convenient to operate at the same time and save cost. However, there are some problems which needs to be addressed for higher crop production in intercropping system. Uh, some of the problems are unreasonable crop configuration, poor possibility of machines and impossible for rotation. Therefore, to resolve all these issues, our group has developed a new cropping system where where we intercrop two rows of maize with two to six rows of soybean which helped us to achieve high yields and sustainability. Interestingly, it can easily be managed by small farm machinery which you can see in this slide. In the first picture, we have, we have developed a machine which is harvesting maize crop. In second picture, we have developed a machine which is harvesting soybean crop. In maize soybean strip intercropping system, it has two main types. First is the relay strip intercropping system and second is the strip intercropping system. In relay strip intercropping system, first we sow maize and after the 60 to 70 days of maize sowing, we sow soybean within the rows of, within the strips of maize and then we harvested maize after 120 to 130 days and then we harvested soybean after 130 to 150 days. It depends on the variety. While in strip intercropping system, both maize and soybean crop grow together. The first picture is showing relay strip intercropping system. Second picture is showing strip intercropping system. There are some another pictures of May soybean relay strip intercropping system and may soybean strip intercropping system. Uh, the first uh, top and below pictures are relay strip intercropping system and other second and top and below pictures are the strip intercropping systems. There are two types of technologies, the core technologies and the sporting technologies. The core technologies include screening, expansion and shrinking. All these technologies significantly improved the land output rate and resource use efficiency and more mechanized. In core technologies, the first is the variety screening. In variety screening, the most important thing is that we need to develop intercropping specific maize varieties because before our group, the maize type which farmer were using for intercropping system has loose leaf. It, it, it can be called as the spreading type of maize where the leaf angle between maize stem and maize leaf was higher than 30 degrees. We done a research to reduce this leaf angle because spreading type of maize or loose type of maize did not allow light transmittance on soybean canopy and in result soybean large and huge losses. Then we did some research and developed another maize variety which have a leaf angle between 15 to 30 degrees. It improves the light transmittance on soybean canopy. However, the light transmittance on soybean canopy still is not enough for obtaining high yield of soybean in intercropping system. Then we done another several years research and we developed another soybean variety which we call compact maize variety. It has the leaf angle between leaf and stem less than 15 degrees and it improved the light transmittance at the top of soybean canopy significantly as we shown in this.
side. And there are the, some real pictures from the field. The first picture, no compact maze variety used in relay in uh, no compact maze variety relay intercrop with soybean. And the second picture, no compact maze variety intercrop with soybean. The first from the relay intercrop system and second from the intercrop system. Then the compact maize variety relay intercrop with soybean at vegetative stage. Then the compact maize variety intercrop with soybean at vegetative stage in intercropping system. After the development of intercropping specific maize varieties, we go for the development of intercropping specific soybean varieties. Because in intercropping system, soybeans suffer from heavy shading condition from maize, which increase plant height and increase lodging in soybean and ultimately significantly reduce the final yield of soybean. Therefore, our breeders develop another soybean variety which can be used in intercropping system. It is shade tolerant and lodging resistant. And there are the two pictures from the field. One plant have a very strong stem and heavy number of pods, while the second plant is lodged and its number of pods is very less as compared to the first plant. Then the expansion. In expansion, we increase the distance between maize and soybean rows and decrease the distance between maize rows and it improves the light transmittance at the top of soybean canopy as we shown in this picture and these are the patterns of our technology in China. Then the shrinking to ensure high maize and soybean planting densities in intercropping system, we reduce the distance between maize and soybean plants, which increase the planting density of maize and soybean intercropping system. The most important and vital part of our intercropping system is that in our strip intercropping system, we are using the same planting density of maize which we are, uh, farmer are using in soil cropping system. Then there is another pictorial description of how evaluation of maize soybean strip intercropping system happened uh, in China. The first two pictures are row intercropping system. This is a very old intercropping system which commonly people known as equal row intercropping system. While after the development of new intercropping system, we dwell maize strip of two rows and soybean strip of two to six rows, which improve the growth of maize and soybean intercropping system significantly. And there are the, some field pictures of maize and soybean at different growth stages. You can see the maize stem, how strong it is, and then the soybean initial growth, how good it is. And then the flowering of soybean. In intercropping of maize soybean intercropping system, the flower has significantly improved as compared to the previous intercropping system. Then there are uh, some pictures from the field of our farming machinery. We have developed some specific farming machinery for harvesting, for sowing of maize and soybean and so on. There are uh, some yield results of this system. Uh, we have conducted several experiments in several years and we started from 2007 and here we have shown some results of maize and soybean yield of 2012 and 2013. However, here is the conclusion. We conducted different demonstration trials in China and if uh, I go for the provinces like Sichuan, Ningxia, then again Sichuan, Sichuan, Gansu, Anhui, Shanxi, then uh, Henan, Shandong, Henan, Hebei and Shandong. The average yield of all years in all provinces in intercropping of maize was 9.9 .9 tons per hectare and soybeans average yield in intercropping system is 1.8 tons while if we compare these results with the soil yield in soil cropping system maize achieved 10.2 tons in soil cropping system and soybean achieved 
3.4 tons in soil cropping system. The average LER in maize soybean strip into cropping system in China is 1.51, which is very high as compared to the other intercropping system in the world and China. There is some another demonstration yield of maize and soybean and the strip intercropping system in China. The red points are showing the demonstration sites, the green columns showing the maize yield and yellow columns showing the soybean yield. Yield average data of multi-site for at least two years. And you can see almost at every place we obtain the average LER higher than 1.4, which is significantly higher than other intercropping system in the world. Uh, after the success of May soybean strip intercropping system in China, Professor Wen Yang sent his student to Pakistan uh, for the demonstration of this technology in Pakistan. And in Pakistan, his student conducted several demonstration trials in Punjab, Sindh and other provinces of Pakistan. So many farmers uh, want to adopt the system because the system significantly improved the final yield of maize and soybean in Pakistan. And other than another interesting thing is that in Pakistan, in Pakistan is suffering from the import of soybean from other countries. And uh, if farmer adopted the system, they can fulfill their needs of soybean easily in Pakistan. Demonstration yield of maize and soybean and the strip intercropping system in Pakistan. We have conducted the trial of maize soybean strip intercrop system for four seasons, and the average intercrop yield of maize which we have obtained in intercrop system is 7.7 tons per hectare, while the soybean yield is 1.2 tons per hectare. And if we compare these results with soil yields, we have obtained 9.9 .9 tons of maize in, inter in soil cropping system and 1.9 tons of soybean in soil cropping system. The average LER in Pakistan, we achieved 1.37, although it is little lower as compared to China. But the thing is that in China, they have the proper intercropping specific maize and soybean varieties while in Pakistan farmers do not have the specific maize and soybean intercropping varieties while in futures we will send some maize and soybean seed uh, for high yield of maize and soybean intercropping system to Pakistan also. Based on the core technologies high yield and LER were achieved in maize soybean strip intercropping system and at some place in, in relay intercropping system the LER goes up to 2.2 also. And then LER in maize soybean strip intercropping system are higher than 1.8 and the value of land use efficiency achieved 1.6%. Then the mechanisms for high yield of the system is sufficient crop population. As I have explained previously, in our intercropping system, we are the relative planting density or the density equivalent ratio in our intercropping system reach from 1.7 to 2.0. Then the leaf area index of strip intercropping system in our intercropping system, if you see the results, the maize almost achieved the same leaf area as compared to soil cropping system. Soybean just suffered little shading condition, that's why its leaf area is little less than the soil cropping system. Then the biomass of strip intercropping system. And biomass also follow the same trend as the leaf area index followed in intercropping system and soil cropping system. Then the, then the second point is the improved light interception. The core technology of variety screening and increasing the distance between the neighboring maize and soybean rows improve light interception of maize and soybean. Strip intercrop maize intercept more power than that of soil maize. Strip intercrop soybean also intercept more power than that of row intercropping system. Here is a picture which is clearly showing how different intercropping systems improve the light transmittance and light interception on maize and soybean. And intercropping systems significantly improve the light interception as compared to soil cropping systems. Then the light interception and light interception data of maize and soybean in different years. All these data are already published in different journals of the world. Then the higher light use efficiency. The light use efficiency of intercrop maize and soybean are higher than, th than those of soil maize and soil 
uh, soil soybean and that's why we are obtaining high yield and high LDR in maize soybean strip intercropping system as compared to other intercropping system in the world. Then the improved photosynthetic rate. The photosynthetic rate of air leaves was significantly increased by the improvement of light environment in the middle rows of maize leaves and the photosynthetic rate of soybean canopy was also significantly improved than that of than that of row intercropping system. Increased light intensity and food senses of maize air leaf intercropping system. There are some data of how power transmittance improved and finally the photosynthetic rate of maize and soybean in intercropping system as compared to the other intercropping system in the world and China. Then the finally higher dry matter production was come from sufficient crop population, high leaf area index, high light interception and finally the high photosynthetic rate. Here we compare the results. If someone is interesting, he can read all these findings. And then the light utilization efficiency between strip intercropping, sole maize and traditional row intercropping. The border row effect was obvious because of the two rows of maize with small planting spacing and high density. It's the main reason for maize priority in terms of light interception and photosynthetic rate and photosynthetic area and finally the dry matter production. Increasing the distance between the neighboring maize and soybean rows give more growth space for soybean combined with the shade tolerant soybean variety, soybeans light interception, photosynthetic area and photosynthetic rate and dry matter production was significantly improved than that of traditional row intercrop systems. Uh, finally, uh, thank you to all and I hope you enjoy this PPT. If you have any question, you can write an email to me uh, or you can visit us at Sichuan Agriculture University. It will be a, an honor for us to give more detail on the system. Thank you very much.